So some time ago, popular Yugi tuber Simo started something called Master Duel Masochist, a challenge series in which a brand new account builds a deck out of five master packs, and with every win, you gain a new one as well as any bonus legacy packs to improve it. So we watched it and thought, this looks fun. Let's give it a shot. What's up, guys? Toaster Cork Gaming back here in Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel Masochist. Now, if you watched the last video, we actually popped off and played well for once. Like, actually beating with just the exact amount of damage needed to win a duel against Sprite. And I'm like, that's crazy. Which, if any of you even bothered to watch the entirety of the video, you would have gotten to see it. But a lot of y'all don't. And the way I see it, if you don't want to sit through the entire video, you can speed it up. Okay? It's totally fine with speeding up the video. T set pass. What's T setting? Isn't that like three cards in a row? I don't know. Well, let's see. We got a good hand here with our Spirit Reaper in defense mode. I didn't even know Overraptor got made into a dual mate. I didn't even know. Now, what have I been missing out? Lantern, are you a shark player? No, you might be a masochist. So glad we pulled your ghetto here because now we actually have a summon during the battle phase in defense mode if we need to for a body and and we can also use it for a uh, life point gain hmm right, i'm not going to use the attack boost but iron dragon tiamaton that's actually not bad Ooh, I regret... I immediately regret saying that. Neither player can use the unused zones in this card's column. That would actually be really good if we can pull three copies of it. What is this? Carnegie... I believe this is a masochist. How fun. We need this place to know another card effect is activated that targets exactly one card on the field. You can attach material from this card, then exactly. Hmm. You're a rock. Hmm. They're going with a T set and pass. Then target another card on the field that would be an appropriate target. We may have to stall for the moment. Because we can't really... I don't want to out it. Draw a card. A very good card. Yeah, legacy of Yada Gada. So you look at him eating. Look at him eating that little rock. He's a big pecking order. Now, this is a problem because that's a huge body and we don't have really enough damage to beat it yet. And if it targets... That targets exactly... Okay, so if we can get to Gungnir, we can win. We don't have any rock monsters to speak of for Tribe Shocking Virus. Ooh... Well, I guess that works. They destroyed ours, but they took out theirs, so that's one body gotten rid of. Now, if they summon anything big, like that, so for one card, your opponent controls into the deck and inflict 500 damage to your opponent. Okay, not terrible. As long as it's not the one that deals 4,000 damage. And it's not like this card's going to be very good because they're, as a masochist, it's kind of useless. So, all things considered, this works out very well for us. Ooh, protecting spirit log, log, log. Oh, they gave it a summon animation. I never knew that. 
This is on the battlefield. Destroyed. Mm. You target one monster on the field. Can it be destroyed by battle this turn? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. If a fairy monster you control activated. You can target one face of a card your opponent controls and attack such a monster you control. Interesting. Level 7. I think we can body it. Yes, we can body it. It's just not a good idea. But we live for those. I want to know what that trap card is. What's it going to be? Body it. Can't be destroyed by battle this turn. Not our problem. And with Burden of the Mighty in play, we can actually survive any incoming damage the next turn. Because during the standby phase, their Time Lord is gone. Time Lord's actually very good if you're a Masochist player, if you pull one. Because they're just an instant summon if you don't have anything, and they have a, pl a plethora of just special effects depending on which one you pull. So good for you. Good on you, T-Set. Summon you. Don't know why I didn't read the effect before playing it, but you live and you learn. Banish this. And pass. This is an interesting duel. Ah, another good card. That's actually very good pull for them. I'm I'm proud of this person. They got some good stuff. This is what I like. I like playing against other masochists because you really don't know what they're gonna pull. Every card's a wild card. That's the excitement of it. Sixty-nine. Nice. I'm actually enjoying this. Mm. They've got, they can use that face down, but the question is why haven't they yet? We're taking our gamble here. Manadium? Special summon a Manadium Tuner, you say? Do they have one? They do have one. Ooh, that's even better of a wall for them. Now, unfortunately, we don't really gain much life points. See, the issue I have with this card is that it's nice we can steal monsters from their graveyard and gain life points, but we don't gain the life, the attack stat. Ooh, statue of pattern ang or anguish pattern. Hmm. That's a normal rarity. That's kind of annoying. Now they can go into a rank seven Xyz. Which is probably their plan. Although if they do, I wonder which one they're gonna get. Or they're gonna pull out on us. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Master of Blades, number 74. When a card effect is activated, the target says the guard you touch to. Ooh. Bravo. It's actually a good card. Because it actually has a negate that targets this face of card. 
Book of Moon would be very, very useful. Okay. Now, unfortunately... Oh, that's a dope... That's a really good card. The problem is, is that we don't have any monsters to summon that can help us. Because we can't target it. Because then it'll just get negated and destroyed. So this adds a interest creates an interesting conundrum. I believe that's the word. We'll go with it. If anybody has a better word for that, let me know. Who knows, we may just set it to one duel, this video, just from how long this fight's going. Okay. Now we have a plan to get rid of their card. We have a plan. Because if they activate the effect, we can simply negate the effect, which will destroy it. Hey, Vanquish Soul Pantera! We actually used to run this. So we'll probably take 1,700 damage, unless they attack with Pantera first. Nope. What are they going for, I wonder? Oh! That's cheeky. That's, that cheeky breaky. That's devious. Neither player can special some monsters from the extra deck, so we gotta take that out. Unfortunately, the only card strong enough is our queen. Hey, there's our Cloak and Dagger. Mm, I think this might be game. No. Ah, well. Unfortunately, we can't relay the targets. Well, actually... No, that's game. But well played, sir. Well played, T-Pass. You actually got some good stuff. Now, to see what stuff you have. Because I'm curious. Agelo 1, Effect Veiler, Astral Karibo, Herald of Pure Light, Manadium, Manadium, Vernus two Vernasylphs, Leogath, Mac Knight Red Moon, Carbon, two Sharks, two Archfiend Labyrinth, one Shiny, two Zaphion, a Camion, two Sloths, ooh, you lucky duck, Diamond Crab, you got the Manadium Fu Synchro Fusion. Yeah, right. Laplacian. Oh, you got the Dark Dragon. Either way, let's keep going. We can probably get one more. A Waker. <laughs> A Whacker. Yeah. 
Maybe there'll be another... We haven't seen that Ancient Gear Wyvern pet in a long time. Does anybody still run Ancient Gear Wyvern because there's a Ancient Gear Ballista? Okay, so. Max C. So this is not a masochist. I don't want a special summon. Now, if anybody questioning why we summoned it in attack mode and not defense mode, is because if they summon a big monster during their battle phase, we can tribute our Chrono Quarter, and the next damage we take will be dealt to them instead. So that can actually save us and do damage. Marine Cess, we may be here for a while. I don't know. I never liked. Uh, Marine says. In fact, the set they, I think, debuted in or got a lot of support, Rising Rampage, I just did not like it. Like, that pack physically disgusted me, and I don't know why. Like, everything in it. The Samorg, Marine says. I don't know why. Like, do you ever have that? Do you ever find a set of cards that you just don't like in general? Like, there's nothing in there to like? Let me know. Maybe we should just put these videos as, like, one duel videos. If each duel is going to take, like, ten minutes or so. <laughs> Maybe when we get a bigger viewing audience, we can increase the si video size back up. I mean, heck, if you watched our live stream the other day, I think it was our live stream, you could actually see that we were over the moon about getting beaten. It was either our live, previous live stream or previous video, but we got beaten by Otoshi Damashi Beatdown. And if you know, I love that little otter. I wasn't even, I wasn't even mad. I was laughing my head off. It was so fun. Just getting beaten to death by a bunch of little otters. It's like, I don't know whether to be happy, angry. I can't be angry. Because that's a strategy I loved doing in the past. It was so stupid fun. And I'm like, I really want that card as well. Because it's a level 2 beast. No, it's a level 1 beast tuner. But if anything's removed from your opponent's field once per turn, you just get to flood the field with tokens that get stronger each time. And those tokens will protect the original. And it's like, oh... One token with a thousand attack and defense, then two tokens with two thousand, three tokens with three thousand. So it is probably one of the best token generator cards in the game, and I love it. And it's like, oh, use it once, you get a tuner or a token. Not that bad. What are you? I have never seen you before. Never seen you in my life, and I've fought Marine Cess a few times. When did they make this? I'm sorry, why would, in the end of Rain's anime, would she switch from Trickstar to Marine Cess? I know it's the Water Ignis, but Marine Cess just don't seem as annoying as or powerful as the Trickstar was. I wouldn't mind trying Tin Dangle, because they were cool. They're going to return Chrono Quarter and hit us in the face.
Now that's a lot of damage. Negate the activated effect. Activates. Send that. Draw one. What's your attack stat normally? 2,000. Okay, not terrible. But. Summon this. Tribute you, which sadly you are banished. Which maybe we should have done the other way first, but whatever. We'll probably lose either way. And now... Hopefully this should work. Nope! What did that do? That's kind of pointless, isn't it? Oh well, GG. You win some, you lose some. Can't win them all, but you might as well try. But I would still like a masochist-only mode. Because then, we would actually have a lot more fun. And then it's just luck of the draw. Not play extensions after play extensions and combo plays of archetypes. But yeah, we'll see you in the next, du in the next video. Until then... I've been Tester Corgi Gaming. This is Masterville Masochist. Ciao.